So the first one, the first concept or school of thought is called look before you leap. Okay, so look before you leap says, how can I prevent errors before they happen? So before the user does something, what are the things that I can do to prevent the error from even happening in the first place? So look before you leap might look like this. Okay, this is, should be familiar code to you by this time in the class. And we've got a while true loop and we've got the user entering a number, which is a string. And so if I'm going to look before I leap, let's say I want to just convert that number to an int. That's the operation. What do I need to make sure uh, that is true before I try and convert that number to an int? I need to make sure that the user actually entered a number instead of like Apple or the number one O-N-E spelled out. So I can use is numeric on that string to make sure that every part of that string contains a digit, which makes it something that is viable to convert into an int. So I'm looking before I leap. I'm not just trying the conversion and seeing what happens. I am checking to see as much as I can, is this conversion going to be okay if I try it? So what I'm doing here is look before I leap and then I leap and if it, if it works, and if not, I'm giving use, useful feedback to the user. Um, this employs the strategy that we've used previously in the class where we put the user into an infinite loop that keeps prompting them to do the right thing until they figure it out and do the right thing. And then it breaks the loop and lets them out of it. Okay, so that's a good way to make sure that a user doesn't move on in the program until they've provided you the input they want. So it's a look before you leap with a little bit more oomph to it because if I don't have them in a loop, then they've entered something that's not a valid number. It's not converted to an int. And all I've said is that's not a valid number. I'm moving on with the program and they still haven't given me what I need. So by putting them in that wild true loop, I'm forcing them to give me a good number before they move on to whatever the next step is. Okay, so uh, 